Now, I'd like to introduce our first speaker for today, Emiko Tagami. She is a competent communicator and competent leader. She will be working from the Innovative Planning Pathway. The project is Managing Projects Successfully, and it will be a speech that is five to seven minutes. And the title of her speech is Three Things Overlooked During the Project. Emiko has successful has had a successful project that she recently completed, but it was not that easy to accomplish. So she will share with you, with us, some reasons why it was difficult and how she overcame those challenges. Please welcome to the virtual lectern, Emiko Tagami. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I have had two back-to-back -back projects and have finished the first one that has started, that started in mid-November until mid-January. The purpose was to prepare for the second project of our open house in order to invite people in charge of employee education from local companies in Brenton and Takwila. Through this, we can get an opportunity to gain corporate sponsored members. When the first project started in November, I realized I had faced three problems. The first was the timing of the project because it was in the middle of the holiday season, which is the busiest time of the year. So I faced a shortage of human resources. Secondly, I realized that two months at this time of the year was not as sufficient of a time frame to complete the project. Besides that, I was not prepared enough for a plan B when the original plan failed. Then it was obvious. There are too many tasks with too less resources. In a project, there are three major constraints, time, resources, and the scope. Then one is short, then as a strategy. There usually is an increase to the other two to maintain the quality of a project. However, I was facing all three constraints in one project at the same time. So I had to restructure everything, but how? I was thinking over and over, again and again for about a month. And I was almost sick because of overthinking. In early December, right before the second project meeting, something came up in my mind. Make it simple, okay? The first question I asked myself was, which is the core purpose of the project? Grow the club with corporate members. Right. Next, what can we do in a few weeks with limited resources? What do we have to have? a contact list of local companies. What else do we need? Create email messages to those in charge of employee education at those companies. So at least draft of an original invitation, follow up messages 
in thank you email after the event, we reduced deliverables focus on only the list and messages. I now focusing on what we have instead of what we don't have. I realized we have wonderful team members. Anita, Anthony, and Bob. The result came up great as we people did well. As we were short on time and human resources, we made the scope narrower and reduced deliverables. I deeply thanked the project members, especially Anita, who contributed through writing message drafts. She literally saved this project. Thank you, Anita, Val, and Anthony. Now what? The second project has started, which is my high performance leadership or HPL project. The main deliverable is the open house that we have on May 1st. Our next step is emailing a corporate list to all club members. Yes, to you. Please check and notify us if you know someone at the company in that list so that it makes it easier to connect with company. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Amiko. Now, if we could have our timer put one minute on the clock and at this time you can send